Egyptian do not do in the new I'm, I was Egyptian just going museum. to ask you that. I was just going to ask you, you seem to have serious <laughs> issues with that machine that is replacing <laughs> your human resources. Great. But don't you think that the current tour guides really need to train themselves, work hard on language, on accent, on dealing with tour, uh, tour uh, tourists, on uh, knowing themselves all the new updates? Because this is I'm, one important thing that you. is. I'm with, uh, I'm with you, and yeah. that's why this business of preparation that the doctor is talking about training, should be yeah. taking and training should be taking care of from now. Yeah. The, Hello, Mr. Bassam. Can you come and give us a couple of lectures to to the new tour guides? Yes, come on. We're going to start, for example, saying Ramesses the second. Are you advertising for uh, yourself on my show, Mr. No. Because <laughs> I thought so. Okay. I've <laughs> guiding since, since many years. And, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> the, the idea of this business of you are going to enter from the old kingdom, mm -hmm. from prehistoric, the chronological tour of the museum from yes. prehistoric mm -hmm. to the beginning, to the old kingdom, exactly. to this, to that, all the way until if you are going to go all through. And if you have a building, mm -hmm. let's put it this way, to make it very simple mm -hmm. and without any challenging. Mm -hmm. If you have a building with Ramesses II and Tutankhamen in one building, if you are going to have less than 10,000 a day, then you have tourist issues in your promotion. Because those mm -hmm. two names are enough exactly. to attract thousands a day. You think out of the box, yes. Go and make lectures abroad and bring the people in. Yes, we did that with companies. Many tour guides did that with companies that worked. Okay, so what I need to understand here to make it more easier for the uh, viewers to understand, it's not just the product or the artifact or the kings that you're promoting. It's how you're promoting the them the management that and the gets promotion. the number, of the, the, exactly. the high turnout. And they know yeah. perfectly well that they are not going to visit the 100, the 200,000 pieces, of course. Of and course. that's what we did uh, in the Tahrir uh, Museum. Uh, mm -hmm. We know that there are 80,000 or more pieces. Mm -hmm. In our one and a half hour, two hours, we are going to take you through this, 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 the this. The most important and we dynasties stopped. and the most influential. But the business of what you did not do there is, for example, museology. You have to put, there is a science called museology. All right, science Science yeah. of museums. Okay. Yes. And you have to study this science because do not turn it into the Egyptian museum, putting all okay, the Okay, so you're talking about curriculums in the university uh, uh, um, modules from the beginning the train, that the should that be also training, yeah, uh, yeah. modified, okay. right? And we have at least like 50, you know, like colleges and universities that, you know, like gives tour guides in Egypt from Aswan to Alexandria. Plus the you know like the uh, the Egyptian universities that have uh, antiquities you know like and mm. uh, archaeology departments, mm. so this is going to be a rich experience for this museum, mm -hmm. and we'll have like an influx you know like of, of uh, travelers and scholars you know like from Asia. Yes, from and that's why I want to ask you. I want to ask you, Doctor Yahya, on yes. that as you're speaking. It just gets, uh, brings on my mind a question of raises a question on my mind on the fact that are tourists different? I, I mean. Are